Yo, this is Alex Mal for Destiny and I welcome you to an insane sandbag workout. So if you don't have access to weights or you're just looking to do some extra GPP work, this workout right here will revolutionize your training. It's absolutely killer. I'm a really strong guy, but this workout is going to kick my ass. So all you're going to need is a basic sandbag. You can buy one for less than $5 at Home Depot. This cost me $3.25. It's a 30 kilogram bag, so 66 uh, pounds. And it's basically going to kick my ass. We're going to walk one kilometer. So I'm only going to walk for 10 minutes. It comes out to about the same thing. After that, we're going to do some push presses with the sandbag. Then we're going to do some sandbag curls. So without further ado, let's get this shit started. 10 minutes. You want to bear hug it. You can also grab it low, whatever your preference is. Of course, as I get tired, I'm gonna have to put this bad boy down. Cause I can't do this 10 minutes straight. I'm not that fit, especially with this. Fucking hard already. You wanna make it harder? You go up an incline, like what I'm doing right now. That makes it even more challenging. Oh yeah. See, I'm getting sweaty. This is where you gotta start using your forearms. So it really is a full body workout. Lower back, hamstrings, glutes, mimics the sled pull. It's upper body, obviously. Upper back has to stabilize. It's fucking tough, man. It's also similar, similar to stone loading, zerka squatting, front squatting. Like I feel my upper back, lower back. Oh yeah, getting tired now. Don't be shy to take breaks. A break is this. You lay down, relax a little bit, stretch it out. Then you go right back in. I'll be taking a lot of these, just saying. Fuck, sweaty. God damn it. the hardest part, going up the damn mountain. Oh, fuck. Lay it down. I'll check how much time we got left. Fuck, man. This has not even been like three minutes. It's tough. You can also clean it on one shoulder if you feel like it. Like this is too easy though. If you do it this way, you can go for a long time. But guess what? It's still pretty hard if you do it like this. Your shoulders are gonna get fatigued from holding the damn weight.
you like I feel it. No matter what you do, you can't cheat it. You're fucked. A yoke is hard, and in the yoke, it's right on your back. <sighs> Let me try to stretch a little bit. All right. Back into it. Fucking incline, dab it. Woo. 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 Just so you know, a lot of you guys might not be fit enough to do this. The only reason why I could do this is because I have to carry cat litter all the time. I have a cat, you know, he eats a lot of food, he shits a lot. You know, I gotta carry his uh, stuff. So I'm used to doing this, but it's still hard, even for a guy like me. This is not easy, especially if you do it off an incline. All right. You can also bring it sideways. That's gonna be hard, especially on your obliques. Check the time again. So you can do this for distance. If you want, if you go on Google Maps, you can look up a location and you just go back and forth. That's how you would track it, obviously. But for me, I'm doing it uh, up and down a hill. Different variations, of course. I'm feeling tired now, so I'm gonna do it like this. But like I said, you can't cheat the system. This is hard no matter what you do. Especially if you're going up an incline. Upper back, traps, forearms, lower back and glutes, especially. And if you've never trained beltless before, you'll feel that too. And right now, it's all traps. It's all traps. Fuck, that hurts. Might have to hold to the, uh, to the other side. You know? This is conditioning, my friends. Not that bullshit that you see guys promoting. Has to be weighted, has to be done for time. You do this, your deadlift's gonna go up right away. So your circuit squats, everything. We're almost done, guys. If you're doing this workout with me, congratulations. I know it's not easy, but keep pushing it. We got about a minute and a half left, maybe a minute. You know it's crazy. 
this is one of the hottest days this year. <laughs> the hotter it is, the more you're gonna sweat. The more you fatigue. A big mental aspect in doing this, guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> this should be the last one. I'll do it even if the timer runs out. To recompensate. Race to the finish line, baby. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Timer's up. Hear that beeping? Are we seriously gonna have to hear this the whole time? Anyway, that's it for the conditioning work. We're now gonna do some push presses and some sandbag curls. So I'll show you how to do that the moment I get up this mountain. Yeah! Next exercise. All right guys, that was it for the conditioning work. We're gonna do some push presses with the sandbag now, right? So do three to five sets, whatever rep range you feel is appropriate. I'm just gonna go by feel. Maybe I'll do fives, maybe I'll do tens. It doesn't have to be the same every time. So technique, there's lots of ways to do it. I recommend keeping it flat. And you grab it this way. Clean it up to your shoulders. All right. This is a regular overhead press, but I want you to push press it. Rest about 15 seconds. We'll do it together. One, two, three, four. Some may be asking why the push press because it's harder with this your body's already taxed from the GPP work so this is gonna hurt even more Okay, that's it for the uh, push presses. We're gonna do some band curls now. Let's do it. All right, guys, welcome to the last part of the workout, sandbag curls. Now, there's two ways of doing this, the easy way and the hard way. Easy way is you're grabbing on to this right here. All right, it's, it's just, it's like doing a rope curl in a cable station. Hard way is by grabbing it on the sides where all the mass is. This is like doing a fat bar curl. This is what we want. Fat bars will make your forms really, really strong. All right, you want some big ass forms? Do this shit. So, three sets of 10, standard bodybuilding rep ranges. You can even do high reps. It could be a cheat curl, it could be strict, doesn't matter. So you grab it under and you just start curling. I sit down, 15 seconds of rest. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I also suggest that you alternate the sides. Because some of the weight's gonna be uneven. One side's gonna be a bit heavier than the other. So you're overloading a bit more. Fuck. My eye. Whew. So, this process. Other hand grip. Yeah. And that's it for this workout. Insane sandbag edition. It'll build your forearms, your biceps. 
your back. Everything you need to know to get fit as hell. Try this out, you're gonna love it. And with that, I'll talk to you next time.